Hey, it's Paul with Rack Attack, and this is the Thule Top Ride Fork Mount Bicycle Carrier. Here we have it attached to this Thule roof rack that's equipped with the Wing Bar Evo slotted load bars. Now, in this video, we'll go over all the details about the construction of this, of this rack, the different types of bike styles that will fit to this, especially the wide range of different through axle equipped bikes that can fit this rack quickly and easily. Now, let's first take a close up look at some of the key details that make this rack unique. Okay, let's have an up close look at the Thule Top Ride. First, we have the black powder coated extruded aluminum tray. And then the head unit here is constructed of aluminum, steel, and thermal plastic. These two sections are joined together with the two fasteners here. A hex wrench is included to perform that minor assembly. Overall, you have a broad base for extra stability, a very sophisticated clamping system for a wide range of different fork types. And then you have your ratcheting strap that slides back and forth on the tray and your rear bar connection, which also slides back and forth. And lastly, for security, the integrated cable lock that extends out from the end of the tray and security for the entire unit to the crossbars. Now let's go over some of these features in detail. Okay, now let's have a close up look at how to adapt a front fork for various formats. So here we have the conventional quick release. Now this does require that your quick release has approved fork tips so that it'll be fully secured. Now this particular design will have a tightening method with a clutch which will indicate when it's been fully tightened to secure that to the tips of the front fork. Now let's look at the through axle adapter. Now the through axle adapter has an assortment of various dimensional adapters to work with a wide range of different through axles. Now Thule also offers some less common adapters sold separately. For this demonstration, we'll do the 12 by 100. And for that, we just snap on the adapters. Now, if you need to change that to a different format, we can just use a flat bladed screwdriver to take those off quick and easy. Now we'll pop those back on and load this onto the tips of the fork. Okay, so here all we do is just drop that into place as if it were the front wheel and then take the quick release that would you, you would use to attach the front wheel and tighten that on to the normal tightness as you would for a front wheel. And now this bike is ready to be loaded onto the Thule Top Ride. So we have the adapter installed onto the fork. We just set that down into the clamping mechanism and pull or push forward on the fork. The green indicates that the clamp is sufficiently tight. To release, we press down on the lever. The green indicator goes away. Now we can push or pull back and then lift out. Now for securing the rear wheel, we have a rear wheel cradle, which slides back and forth along the length of the tray in order to position it directly below the axle. We have a ratcheting strap, which goes through this buckle. Now the strap can be pulled on both sides of the cradle in order to equalize the amount of strap that extends down. You also have a rubber cushion to provide protection to the rim. Also, if you find you have too much excess on the strap, it is possible to bring the strap under and latch to the opposite side through a loop. Okay, now let's just take a quick look at the quick release mounting. And here you'll see we have a fork which has the safety tabs on the tips and that is necessary for transporting a bicycle on a roof rack of a vehicle. So here we have the quick release adapter. 
And so we would insert that as you would, just a front wheel. And then now we can take the turn knob and turn that and we'll continue to turn until it is at the proper tightness, which is indicated by the clicking sound in the clutch. And then now we can go ahead and lift the bike to the roof rack and clamp it into the carrier. And now we have another through axle bike. This is a mountain bike with 15 by 110. And just for reference, each of the adapters has the dimensions on the side of the adapters for easy reference. Now, same as the others, we just press it into the same axle adapter and it snaps into place. And it takes the place of the front wheel. It slips in place, as you see there. And then you'll take your front wheel axle, slide it through and tighten it as you would your front wheel. And then you can go ahead and load it as we did the others. Thule includes roof rack crossbar mounting hardware. Here we have the hardware designed to work with Thule's slotted load bars, such as the Wing Bar Evo. Here's the front position on the rear position. Same type of hardware. However, it's on a plate which slides back and forth along the tray in order to accommodate a wide range of different crossbar spacings. Now it's also possible to swap out that hardware for hardware designed for Thule's square bar and also for potentially other aluminum crossbars as approved by Thule. Now when it comes to security for locking the carrier to the crossbar, Underneath the release handle is a lever, and this lever is designed to tighten up the hardware, but also provide a means for locking the carrier to the crossbar using Thule's one key system lock cylinders, which are sold separately in match sets. Now it's possible also to match up your lock cylinder to the rear cable lock that's also part of this rack design. So behind this knob is a lock mechanism. You can pull that out. There's a cable that extends out and allows the security of the bicycle frame by locking the, the carrier around the bicycle frame using one of your Thule lock cylinders. Okay, after having seen some of the key details of the Thule top ride up close, now let's go over some of the techniques and best practice of loading a bicycle up to the carrier. The first step in loading the bicycle is to first take care of the front wheel. So you remove the front wheel, and in this case, we've loaded it into the vehicle. There's also the option to purchase the Thule wheel holder separately. That's a carrier that attaches up onto the roof rack, allowing you to transport the, the front wheel out of the vehicle and on the roof rack. Now, the next step is to go ahead and prepare the carrier to accept the bicycle. To do that, you just wanna make sure that the rear wheel strap is released and does not interfere with loading up the, the, tie, the rear wheel, and then make sure that the front of the carrier is open, ready to accept the front fork adapter. Okay, now when it comes time to loading up the bike, what we wanna do is get down and grab the lowest part of the frame and fork that gives you good stability here rather than here, which is the first instinct is to grab here, which doesn't give you as much height. So we'll go ahead and open up this back door, grab it at that position to give you the best height, get the rear wheel into the rear tray first, and then begin to move the bike into the vertical position. And then with both hands, you can now guide the adapter into the clamp and then push forward to get that green indicator that is attached correctly. And now we can go ahead and find the center of the rear wheel at the axle, come down, position our tray at that place, and then find two parallel spokes if possible. And then we can go ahead and secure the rear wheel 
and press that cushion down against the rim. Now the bike is ready for transport. To take the bicycle back off, you do everything in reverse. So you first release the rear wheel strap, and then you gain control of the bike so that you're ready to accept the weight of the bike. Go ahead and release the lever, lift, pull back and lift up. And now you have the bike removed. Okay, well those are all the key features of the Thule Top Ride Roof Mount Bicycle Carrier. This product along with the full line of Thule products are available at RacketTac.com. Please see the link in the video description for all your buying options. And if you have any questions or comments about this rack in particular, feel free to leave those in the comments section below. And consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We have over 2,000 rack related videos and we upload new videos weekly. That's all for this one and thanks for watching.